I can show, I want to show you the currency in our country. In our country, we use Jamaican dollar. And uh, in the front part, we have a picture from some important people about our, our history. And in the, in the back side, we show a picture that some places, some beautiful places in our country. Um, so I want, I want to talk about our music now, because I like our music, but I don't know, I don't know how to explain about that. But I know, I know someone who is on his friend talking about that. And what I mean, because I don't find it. <laughs> oh my friend, I have some I have some this over here. I want to to explain the our music. Okay, you know that like, our our place is a enjoyful place. Um, music is something that you cannot miss for you to enjoy the time. So I'm going to begin telling you that our music, our music popularity, has spread throughout the world and manifested in many different ways. Our music includes Jamaican folk music and many popular genres such as um, mental, ska, rocksteady, dancehall. Reggae and um, reggae function. Uh, our our music, our music culture is a function of elements from the United States, R&B, rock and roll, and um, uh, African, some neighboring Caribbean, such as uh, uh, Caribbean, Caribbean Island, such as uh, Trinidad, Tobacco, uh, uh, and soccer. Well, uh, reggae music is our most recognized song. Don't you worry, I, I know that you want to know why it's our most recognized song. This kind of music is infectious. And expression of personal freedom, independence, and religion. Uh, reggae music is especially popular through the international fame of O'Malley, whose influence helped to bring reggae music into the Jamaican mainstream. And now I'm going to, to give you to tell you something about my Romali was our our most famous musician. He is fight to, to international cultural uh, independence. Uh, important, important, made him one of the most significant contributors to the world culture. He was also an important ambassador for international peace, racial harmony. And um, unite in Jamaican policies. Uh, his political activity led to an assassination attempt in his Kingston home in 1976, now the site of the Bomali Museum. I'm going to tell you a little about the museum. The museum is a museum located in Kingston, Jamaica, dedicated to the reggae music and Bomali. Uh, Uh, what now is called the Bomali Museum was the Bomali Homes until his death in 1981. Uh, uh, Bomali death at the age of 76 from melanoma cancer. Uh, six years later of his, of his death, the house where he had lived was converted into a museum by his wife, Rita Miley. People, if you want to know something else or a little more about Omale, I invite you to, to pass for our museum. Um, because there, there, the museum allows you to see every aspect from Omale life. And also allows you to, uh, there are also there uh, a, a, a photography gallery. And, back. Back. Okay. Uh, and I have gift shops selling t-shirts, uh, posters, CDs, and other uh, Bomali memorabilia, as well as, as items from Jamaica. Uh, this, those are some pictures from Bomali there in the, in the museum. Uh, as you can see, this is the Bomali, Bomali's family. Uh, at the left, uh, there is uh, his wife. Um, those children, those are the children. 
you can see here, O'Malley was very young. Uh, he was uh, just beginning his, uh, his career. And what did I tell you? I told you, I I told you that our music is very effective. Look at what the people there with O'Malley in Santa Fe. They are dancing, doing little things because of the of the music of O'Malley. Well, the, this picture, I, I was thinking about that, about if I want, uh, I, I was going to show you the picture because I know that, he, that he's smoking there for us, as that was part of his life. I wanted to show you that, that that was uh, one of his hobbies. That one was Pierre Torch. He was one of the musicians who began with Bob Marley. He was in the same band. Uh, with Bomale and then for 10 years independence. Look, this one was another important musician from Jamaica. He is in the But here it seems that he is. He did not see him. He has two pieces in his hand. Maybe he is getting ready to, to fire or something like that. <laughs> this one is very well. A little ugly, yes, but you know, <laughs> I'm telling you, he was one of the most important musicians from Jamaica, too. Okay, uh, until here was my presentation. I hope that you have learned something about our music. And remember, we are here for you. So you know a little about our music now. And you saw some pictures from Bob Marley smoking. But with, uh, we want to tell you that we prepared if you don't, if you don't smoke, I repeat, I repeat you. But you know, everybody have this life. Um, now, let's relax. In the
Waiting by you to to come our wonderful country to enjoy it. to enjoy seeds and players, birds and trees. So now you know a little about our sports. <laughs> so let's con let's continue our sports because we have many things to show you. Uh, maybe some of you are here because you want to spend your vacation here. But maybe some of you are here because you want to invest some money in a... Jamaica's economy is largely agriculture and mines. But from the decade of the 20th century, two of 90 special drive juries. Agriculture employed over the 20% with cannabis and products. Supplies native to Jamaica. To Jamaica. Human uh, beings grow along the history as a plant food source whose cultivation is prohibited. Sugar. We have been produced in Jamaica for centuries. It's the nation's dominant agriculture export, but also produce coffee, banana, and green banana. Jamaica is one of the top producers of bauxite and alumina in the world. Several international companies deposit bauxite the central plateau. Some of them process the bauxite into aluminum. Jamaica, uh, since 2000, Jamaica began to experience positive growth after a period of four years of crisis. May because our religion, um, you, you have to know something about our religion. And I have someone to explain you about that here. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, how they will say I'm going to talk about the Jamaica building. Well, there is, there is uh, freedom and quality religions in Jamaica. Protestant churches are dominant with various denominations, uh, comprising over 60% of the total population. And Seven day Adventists and Baptists are the next largest denominations with about 9%. Jamaica is the home of Rastafarianism. The, the Rastafarianism is like that, you can say. Well, uh, the Rastafarian uh, only accept the parts of the Bible, we can see the Bible, only accept the parts of the Bible. But that I have is the curry. I was thinking in good that with that one. Many people like that. Here, Jamaica likes local tropical foods as a snack and as dessert. Their two important desserts are mangoes and sur. They put it with, they make it with ginger, and garlic, and salt. And that is bad. They use a lot. It's very famous there. Here are some food that they use too. It's banana, like my friend says. Melon water, melon, apple, and melon. So people, we hope you have a go, have a go at the school, um, our coach, um, come on, come on, let's say, let's say goodbye to our coach. Thank you so much. Okay. 
I have I want I have to talk about some emblems in France that are very famous, like an emblem that is called cockerel. What is cockerel? The cockerel is a sport words that they use in the in the national French teams, and and that that means that is is important. But why? Because the animal that is used is willing to fight, you know, that is fight. And another, another plant is the flowers. There are two flowers, and the two flowers are called it is a lily, and it's as important as well. And one of the one of the most important plants in that country is a day that they celebrate. So the day is July 14th. What they do in this day? They, they before the the peasant, the peasant, the peasant, the peasants were the peasants invent the pressure and they release the prisoners. But the poor people hate that because before they had been there and they have passed bad moments there and they don't want to remember that. So during the the guillotine was a method used to execution of the French Revolution. During, during the French Revolution the kind that was there was lost. And my other partner is going to come I speak about the climate. And three types of climate may be found the same in French. Oceanic, Oceanic, Continental, and Mediterranean. The Oceanic climate is the Oceanic climate thrives in the winter between the winter part of the country. It's one of the small temperatures largest. In the continental climate, it's very, very, has very characteristic water and, and colder water. The Mediterranean climate is very, very cool and has many, many storms and very hot temperatures. I'm talking about the religion. French has traditionally been the Catholic country. The Catholic country. And today, and, and today, approximately 80% of the population of French are a crime. At least nominated to the Catholic religion. The religion of Iceland in French. Iceland is today a conti constituted the second largest religion of in, in Europe. There are currently believed to be about five million of the a five million Muslim in French. Many of whom are many of whom are of Most Africa deserve. The Jesuit religion in French, French has a Jesuit community since from times. However, this was largely wiped off during the middle.
proposed is making competition with the taxi and a full trip and a short trip costs around 20 euros and a full trip is around 300 euros. Taxi, so it's a bicycle, bicycle taxi. An airplane, we have two uh, principal airports that are the Charles de Gaulle Airport and Polygon Airport. The tram that goes from city to city and the TGD that is one of the fastest uh, trains in the world and is also the safest. Uh, it's comparing with the, with the airplane, We're talking about safest. Uh, it goes to, from France to Swiss, Germany, Italy, Belgium, Netherlands. It goes from France to the United Kingdom. It has a length of 50 kilometers. It's the second longest uh, tunnel in the world. The first one is called Senike Tunnel that is uh, located in Japan. Uh, inside the tunnel, Like it's double, 
Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to our to our cultural fair. As you can see, the first country we have here is Brazil. Uh, those people we have over here are going to talk about um, everything related to Brazil. I hope you can enjoy it. Let's start. It's a pleasure for me to present Brazil, one of the most beautiful countries around the world. My group is composed by Lady Laura, Alessandra, Becky Ureña, Sterling Elivo, Isa Mastomi, Elizabeth Medina, Loida Valdez. Welcome to Brazil. Brazil covers almost half of South America. This country shares the border to the North, South, East, and almost all South American countries, excluding Chile and Brazil, and excuse me, excluding Chile and Ecuador. Brazil is bordered by the Atlantic Ocean to the west. It's a relatively flat and mountainous area, with not exceeding 3,000 meters above sea level. But about 60% of the area is a relatively flat, the rest being a plateau. The first indigenous people arrived in Brazil for over 8,000 years, but little is known about these Indians even as they were called. Brazil was discovered by the Portuguese Pedro Álvarez Cabral in 1500, and soon was colonized by the Portuguese who found favorable soil and climatic conditions. In these countries, the Indians and later the African were forced into slavery and forced to work in plantation and mines. In these countries, In 1822, Brazil has the opportunity for first time in over 30 years to elect a president by popular vote and elect Franz Fernando Cochar de Mello. But the current president in this country is the successful woman, Dilma Rousseff. I'm going to talk about climate of Brazil and population. Population. Population of Brazil is about 191.5 million people, according to the Brazilian Institute of Geography and Statistics, IBG. Brazil has a low rate of population density. Most of its population is about... 
Brazil has an overage population. The most of this population is concentrated in the world of this country. It's concentrated about, uh, around the coast. We are the two, it's two, uh, marked by the other country in Brazil. Um, Brazil colonization is concentrated about a speaking country in Latin America. The politically, politically uh, Brazil, Republic of Brazil, uh, is formed by the Euro of 20, 26 federal states and The climate. The climate in Brazil is about 90 percent in the country. That most of the, the that most of the country okay. Brazil has this primary region. Tropical, semi-arid, uh, highland tropical, temperate, and subtropical. About about uh, Pedro ba Mario Pedro Vargas Llosa, mm -hmm. uh, born in Peru in 1933. He is one of the American, the Latin American most sig most significant and important from Peru and around the world too. Uh, many Barrio Vargas Llosa's works are influenced by the, by the Peruvian sociology, uh, especially, especially in, because he have, the, uh, he have a lot of experience about native Peruvian. He ran for the Peruvian presidency in, in 1990. Sports. The first one is Mauro Mina. Mauro Mina, born in Peru in 1933. He is a uh, light, uh, he's a light heavy weather boxer. The most uh, best uh, sexy boxer from Peru. Uh, he was uh, recognized uh, because he has a personal record in Peru and around the world. Uh, he died in Peru too in 1993 with a personal record uh, 58 fight. Uh, 58 fights of which he won uh, 52. Sofia Malanovic. Sofia Malanovic uh, born in 1983. Uh, Sofia Malanovic uh, is a Peruvian surfer. Uh, he, he, she, Sorry, she won the the title, the world title uh, of surfing in a professional world championship tour event. Her ethnic roots are Brazilian. Brazilian. Hugo Sotil. Hugo Sotil born in Peru in 1949. Uh, is a, a Peruvian football player. Uh, is the Peruvian football player uh, more recognized uh, in Peru and is recognized around the world too because he have a, a lot of record in football uh, and part of the Peruvian squad that won the Copa America in 1975. Peru uh, have a uh, beautiful girls too. Uh, 
One example is Julia Molina, Maria Julia Molina Garcia. She won uh, Miss Mundo in 2004. And maybe his family is wonderful, is beautiful, because his aunt uh, was 